Everybody out there is doing good, doing great, blessed and staying productive. I'm doing good, doing great, blessed and staying productive. Before jumping into today's reaction video, just in case you did not catch my last upload, there is a thumbnail. Y'all go over and check it out. Also, okay, I do have my retainers in today, y'all, so I might sound kind of funny. Um, if you are new here, you are wondering who I am talking about. I am talking about pitiful, pitiful Nika, okay? Shanika Grant. Um, don't want to take accountability. Um, knowing her situation, knowing what's taking place and what's happening, but just refusing to move, refusing to move for her children. Um, I would say someone that's been in the YouTube streets lying and scamming and everything is slowly, if y'all pay attention and you notice, everything is slowly catching up with her, okay? So it catches up and it allows you to fall right back in that rabbit ass hole that you thought you popped out of, okay? Because you say TikTok makes you famous. It's a lot of those things, okay? But in the midst of it all, you have eight kids, eight kids that's in need. No matter if you're working, okay, no matter if you're monetized, no matter if you're not monetized, these kids will always need. And as y'all can see, Hayward is not giving a fuck, okay? He ain't even posting the kids up so people can see. Look at my kids. He's not acknowledging them. He's not taking care of them. Okay? He's not doing shit. His main focus is on him. He's the priority. His wife and whoever else and the other kids is the priority. But all these kids over here that is suffering because they need, they are in fucking need. No matter what nobody say. Okay? The shit don't look pretty. It don't sound pretty. Okay? The presentation that is presented to us, we have seen more than a fucking nothing. And now knowing that she is demonetized, a lot of us is saying, shit, good, great. I mean, what's the difference? Hell, what's the difference of her being demonetized and being monetized? It ain't no fucking difference. It's, it's a difference for her because she's not able to flex. Okay, She's not able to come on and pamper and do all these different things for herself. So... With that being said, okay, that's who I will be talking about today. Y'all already know. Um, the title of the video is TikTok Live Addressing the Situation on My Current Financial Living Situation. So then I say, if you posted this on TikTok, for your TikTok people, why did you bring it here on YouTube? Why did you feel the need to share this on both platforms? That's what I want to know. Okay, I think if people are really supporting you and checking for you, they'll be right over there on TikTok to see what the fuck you are giving. But why would you address this as for TikTok, but then bring it to YouTube? Now, before I jump into this reaction, I also want to say, okay, there was a comment that I came across yesterday. I actually did reply back, but... Being on camera, I can elaborate a little bit more. Um, the comment was saying that uh, basically, I guess they felt some type of way about Nika being demonetized due to her having kids. Okay, with the kids within the situation, it allows her, she feels sorry for the kids. Also, try to flip it, okay, try to flip it to say, you know, what if that was me? 
I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I don't know if basically saying I wouldn't like it or how would I feel, okay? So then that's where I have to jump in and I have to elaborate. First, I will say a lot of us go through a lot of situations, okay? Even as being a single mother, you have your ups, you have your downs, you have your middle, okay? With a job, without a job, however. But main priority and main focus within every situation, no matter if it's a battle, if it's a test, or whatever the case may be, you always, you have kids in the midst of that, okay? So with that being said, of you addressing to say to me, how would I feel? I would never allow myself to be in this situation. Not saying that it's not capable, okay? But knowing that I have kids, it's my due diligence and my job to cover, okay? To take care, to protect, and do all the things that is in my title as being a mother, okay? Now, for as Shanika Grant, I catch no feelings toward no grown ass woman that sit here and put herself first over her kids. Sit here and will sit down and feed herself first and her kids is not even situated. It's a lot of selfish shit, okay? A lot of greedy ass shit. And when you are greedy, okay, things get snatched. Things get taken away, okay, because of greed. Someone that put their kids on display of not doing what they're supposed to do, not providing, okay? Making sure I'm good and great, and if my kids is not fucking straight, I don't care. It's the whole problem. At the end of the day, even with her being monetized with YouTube, what was she doing with the money? She was doing everything that she wanted to do. Kids wearing the same shit over and over again. Every time the kids is posted on the camera, they looking crazy. Crazy as hell, Okay? Not buying these kids hygiene products, but if I do buy hygiene products, I make sure I stash it in my vehicle or in my purse or in my little backpack, okay? These kids have endured more than a fucking enough, okay? More than enough to why reports have been made to DSS constantly, constantly, okay? I don't know if you think I get on her and talk and I'm just taking it as a gain or, well, shit, I, I, I just want to put the pressure on. I feel like the fucking pressure needs to be on because you have kids involved within this situation. You understand? And not somebody that say, well, I am in a struggle right now. It is hard because I don't have help. Okay, allow others to step in and help, but not allowing others to step in, but where I want to take advantage. I want to take advantage because it's the greed, it's the greed that's within me. It can't allow me to feel sorry for you. But that same focus, that same focus that I had when I came on speaking is the kids. It's the kids that is put on display to allow us to feel a certain way, okay? So even though being monetized or demonetized, it still allows us to feel the same way for the kids and say, damn, she monetized and making money and I still feel sorry for the kids because they just fucking existing. Now she is at her really demonetized and guess what? The kids will still be existing. It don't change the fucking situation. It don't change the atmosphere. It don't change none of that. Okay, so then that's why I say you are what you allow yourself to roll around and lay in. Okay, you are what you present yourself. Yes, we all may hit a struggle and a rock bottom or whatever the fuck you want to call it. But the importance of it is, as I said in my video yesterday, putting your best foot forward, bending your back over backwards to make sure your kids is good and great. And then that's where I say, in no situation, no given day, has she ever did that. So I can't feel sorry for her. I'm glad that YouTube decided to demonetize her because it's not fair that you can go eat good, have a good time, and these kids don't even have shit to drink within the household. Sometimes you have to snatch a lot, and with snatching a lot, you can't allow your heart to fold or feel any kind of way because she's grown as fuck to know better, especially with raising and bringing kids in, especially when you'd have had so many black women, bookies, non-supporters just try to lead you right on how to cook a meal, how to shop, how to do your kids, her, all these different things, okay? 
So then as far as like using that reverse tactic, thinking that it's going to allow me to feel some type of way to say, well, how would you feel if that, if, if this was my situation, I wouldn't put it on display and present it just to get paid and receive, receive some fucking revenue off of it. Okay. But allowing my kids to be in a miserable situation. Okay. Allowing all the, the, the kids that go to school with them, see and know everything that my kids is going through all of this type of shit so no okay i ain't accepting of that shit and will not accept it i'll be putting my best foot forward to try to better my situation for my kids okay a lot of things can happen you could be working on a job and lose your fucking job just because they don't need you no more what do you do do you sit and you dwell in it and run to everybody else looking for the coin or do you say you know what at the end of the day we're gonna be good and great and straight what i'm gonna do is I have a plan next. I'm finna move like this next. That's what I would say at the end of the day. So then that's where I say, I still stand, okay? I don't feel fucking sorry for her, okay? As a grown ass woman, you had many times to get it right. I don't feel sorry. I don't feel sorry when kids is taken out of your custody and then you come on and you present and say what you're not gonna do no more and I'm not gonna show my kids no more and my kids, my kids, my kids. And then when, it, when you are allowed to have them back, you still turn around and do the same funky ass shit again. It's unacceptable on all levels. And with that being said, y'all, anyways, y'all, let's jump right on in into today's reaction. Right. So she wants to come on and basically uh, just address her financial living situation. Well, then that's why I say, if you wasn't on social media, why do you feel like you have to address your living situation with anybody? I mean, it's just like, as you said, you lost the job, okay? You lost the job, but you have fucking backup, which is your cleaning company. But as y'all can hear and see, she don't have a cleaning company, okay? It's something that she worked way before where she said she was working under somebody. I don't know which one it is. If she was, it's all made up, I would say. Uh, basically coming on here, Telling TikTok that she will be posting from time to time. Uh, just letting them know what's going on. All these different things. But she will not be putting her kids on TikTok. Mm. Within this video, she's basically talking about she has a job. She found a job. But she has a job interview to go look for another job. And then I would say, so you found a job already. You found a job and you need some khaki pants. You're you're coming on, but the things that you are saying is basically throwing out here, I need, I need help, help, help. And then that's why I said in my video yesterday, might as well just go put up a GoFundMe. GoFundMe right now because I have a total of nine kids that I am taking care of. YouTube scammed the shit out of me and now I am demonetized and my living situation is, it's a struggle. It's a struggle and it's hard, okay? But at the same time, listening to her, looking at her posts, she's still somebody that don't want to work, okay? She's still somebody that's trying to chase the fame, okay? She says she's going to start posting more on TikTok because... It's also a lot of people that go viral off of TikTok. So Shanika Grant is still searching, okay? She's still thirsty for another viral moment. I jump on TikTok, yeah, because I'm trying to go ahead and get back into TikTok in a little bit. Try to um, get a little bit of change in my pocket, but, you know, because that can help out too with, um, you know, gas or whatever, because TikTok is, you know, where is that? Most time people go viral on this, on this app. Um, she said it, not me. So then I would say jumping from platform to platform, holding your hand out, holding your cup out, jingling it, okay? With whatever change you have, this is what she is doing right now. Not putting this energy to say, let me get the fuck off social media right now and just make sure I have a stable foundation for me and my kids, okay? She's not doing that. She's hopping to Instagram, she's hopping to TikTok, she's hopping to Facebook, okay? She's posting. She posting, she wants y'all to feel sorry. She wants y'all to help, 
Okay, I'm gonna start posting videos on Facebook, but don't forget, join the membership. It's only $2.49. You still trying to take out the people out of people pockets. You still trying to take out of people households so they can put more into yours and provide. Okay, you still trying to gain shit the slick way. And I just explained this in my video yesterday. Okay? You don't learn from your situation to in order to better your situation or even allow better to come because you don't want to do shit. Okay? You want everything the easy way. You want everybody to go out here and work hard and provide for you because I need gas money for my kids. But you weren't thinking. Okay? You weren't thinking way back. Let me put some up because I'm going to need gas money. But then you posting shoes posting you eating mcdonald's where you getting the money from unless people sending you some and instead of saving it for gas money i'm i'm trying to get something to eat i'm trying to she wants y'all to provide for the fame okay the lifestyle that she want the lifestyle that she want of saying she's a stay-at-home mom and don't want to get out there and work but just want to stay home and praying one day maybe i can hit viral again I think it's embarrassing even coming on talking about you have a job and you finna go on another interview. We know it's not fucking true, okay? We know it's not true at all. I'm sitting down and I'm doing homework, okay? I'm doing homework with Kira, y'all. You're doing homework, but you're going live to talk about your current financial living situation. Y'all make sense of that? Hey y'all, welcome to the live. What y'all got going on? Oh, it's been a long, crazy day for me. Of course, yes. I'm here helping with homework right now and signing papers for my children for school. I jump on this live, y'all, because I'm gonna tell y'all something straight, real, straight, straight, real. When the struggle gets real, it gets real. Oh God. Ooh, I've been going through a lot lately for the last couple of days and months. Um, well, not really months, just, just this month only that tragically just brought me all the way down to the, low, the lowest. I got on uh, my Facebook page. A lot of you guys probably don't know my Facebook. But if you get on my Facebook, you know, join me on Facebook. You know, because sometimes, most of the time, since I got um, demonetized on uh, YouTube, a lot of you guys can come over to my Facebook page and say hello. Um, you can watch lives with us. You can watch us live over there too as well. I'll start to switch up a little bit um, with with my family, um, with my children. Uh, will we be on Facebook? Later, later, later. Go back with that side over there. So we be on Facebook if y'all want to come over there and comment or y'all want to watch the kids or anything like that. I decided to go ahead and let us do a little bit of uh, family time on Facebook. Because a lot of my family is on Facebook. That's why I was avoiding being on there. But most of my family is not negative. Okay, okay, of course. Um, uh, this morning I put a post up there about I need to gas the kids in school. Um, somebody said something. Somebody sent a message to me in my inbox. I'm trying to be funny, but anyways. Make a long story short. I am um, working on jobs and going to interviews and all kind of stuff right now. So I'm in the process of doing a lot of job searching and all kind of stuff and going to different interviews and seeing which job is suitable and whatever and whatnot. I got this job that I really ain't going to um, want to do. Uh, when I jump on this live, y'all, when I tell y'all, uh, it's the fake young for me, okay? You had the whole time to yawn before the people got on the live. Okay, as soon as the people came in on the live, it's a fake yawn. And, oh, when the struggle gets real, it gets real. You're trying to find your way so you can start dry begging. When the struggle gets real, it gets real. But then you say, Shanika Grant, how many times you gonna say this shit? The struggle has been real for you for a very long time. It was just real for you uh, a couple months ago, okay? You and Naya sleeping in the car, your kids supposedly sleeping in a camper, can't go into grandma's house. The struggle has been real. It been real with all of y'all staying in a hotel. So then that's where you say, how long is you gonna continue to come on here and say, when the struggle gets real, it gets real. It seemed like it's always been real. 
but you've been trying to live like it's not, okay? Living for self. Just allowing my kids to be in this struggle. But now, okay, when a struggle gets real, it gets real. But you never want to find a way to remove yourself out the fucking struggle. I don't get it. You like to stay and roll in it. And then go to the nail shop and get your nails done in it. And your eyebrows and your feet done. You like to do all this shit while you in a struggle, Okay, not getting out nowhere. And I like to go eat all the fast food. But I want y'all to know when the struggle is real, it's real. Only when YouTube scam me and not pay me, right? She's been going through a lot for the last couple days and months. Well, not months, okay? But this month. Everybody know you got fucking demonetized. Everybody know that YouTube didn't serve you a check, so you say, because you told everybody. You telling every social media page you have the same thing, okay? Why wouldn't it not be a struggle? But when people don't see you moving or what are you doing about it, then you say the struggle can't be too bad. But you want everybody else to help you help pull you out your struggle, right? You want everybody else to land some type of cash or money into your hand, right? You don't care what it is. Just send me something. This is why I'm here. I'm a dry big. Do what I do best. Where's your bookies at? Where's your where's Keisha at? The one that you get on here and say don't don't bring her up, don't talk about her. And mute the comments because she had the comments off. Y'all going over and beyond. Don't bring up Keisha's name on the live. Please do not bring her name on. She has nothing to do with my life. And her life is her life. Let's keep that shit kosher, yo. Let's don't do that. Please don't do that. Keep her name out y'all mouth. That is that, that disrespect with rules. She has her own life. She has a family. She got her own life. Let's not bring up her name in my life. And first of all, that's disrespectful bringing up somebody else's name. And I don't need nobody. To, I don't need nobody to help me, like physically help me, like out. Like I just say, period. Like when it comes to a point to a person going through a lot in their life. And a person go through something and you get on the net and you talk about it, try to drag your name through the net and they have something to talk about. That's not what the point is. The point is that they are still making it regardless of what the trolls have done. When a struggle actually gets real, Keisha is fucking ghost. Okay? When Nika got put out that house before and she didn't have nowhere to go, she went to the hotel, then she went was staying at grandma's house, they sleeping in the car. What was Keisha? Okay? She said Hayward was sending her money, other people sending money so they have food and different things like that. But where was this good friend Keisha at? She was gone in the wind. You never see her. She never said, come on in. Y'all can come over here and stay. Oh, do you need me? She she don't. It's just a little bit. It's just a little bit like the cake. It's this and that. But when it get fucking major, Keisha is out the way, y'all. Like right now, Keisha can't give you gas money. I'm just saying. I think she will be able to help you with gas money for the kids and she eating on their fucking food stamps in it. Her talking about her Facebook page, basically trying to get y'all to go over there to Facebook. She will be doing some lives on Facebook. She will be switching some things up with her family on Facebook. Okay, everything is Facebook. Come watch and see her. But if y'all notice, she never looked at the camera not one time. She been looking over her to the side the whole time. So then that's where you say, why are you on fucking live having a conversation over to the side? Because see, I'm trying to get it together. I had to try to get it together when I when y'all came in and I was like, ooh, this fake ass yun. What I'm trying to do is come over here to try to get people to go to Facebook and sign up to be a member because that is another way that I can kind of receive some type of revenue if y'all just, you know, go and pay only $2.50 to be a member. Be a member of what? What are you presenting? It's the same shit that you seen over here on YouTube. It's the same shit that you're going to give over there. I'm just saying. Kids looking crazy. Kids' hair are not combed for months. Hollering, okay? Cussing, treating the kids crazy. Coming online again and again. And being satisfied within this struggle. I would say. The reason why she don't be on Facebook is because a lot of her family is on Facebook. But my family is not negative. Then you say, why the fuck you running from your family? Why you don't want to be on Facebook 
with your family, okay? Like your mother and everybody that knows Shanika Grant for who the fuck she is, okay? Why you don't want to be on Facebook? But then she turn around and say her family is not negative. Well, you're not wanting to be on Facebook because your family is over there, but my fam family is not negative. I mean, that right there, it's not adding up. It's not mad and it's not making sense. Um... But right now, you in a situation to why it really don't matter no more, right? I got to do what I got to do. I got to get some of these people to sign up to bring me some type of coin in. That's what you're doing. So then that's where you say she's going to use y'all, okay? If I can't use y'all to cash out me, I'm going to use y'all to sign up. Because if y'all want to see us, y'all true supporters, y'all will sign up. She's talking about the post that she put up on Facebook, okay? She put a post up on Facebook talking about she needed gas to take the kids to school, okay? So let's read what this post had to say for Facebook that she wanted everybody to read. I came on to Facebook to show the real way we live and what I do to show the world our life. Not getting paid here, just not wasting my time to be creative without no pay. I put in a lot of work on YouTube and got nothing good out of it. I just entertained others, which I really, okay, I really did enjoy. My true supporters will find me here and is welcome to watch our journey here on Facebook and Instagram. Oh, yeah. Okay. Catch the old fucking yeah. <laughs> you didn't forget. This is your whole point and fucking purpose. Oh, yeah. Make sure y'all sign up for membership. Members only pay $2.49 and I will be dropping videos soon. Only for the members, so join. Thanks in advance, Miss Nika. Do you have members only on uh, YouTube? But now you want to have members only all of a sudden on Facebook. Oh, yeah. For my real supporters, y'all can follow our journey on here. But, oh, yeah, sign up for a membership. Oh, wow. All right, next post on Facebook. She's begging, okay? It ain't even been a good week, and she's begging. But she said when she was demonetized, what she say? She got it together, okay? They're going to be good no matter what. Kids' clothes need to be washed. Time's getting hard. Who do you turn to? God only knows how long he will put us through a test. Never give up. Just keep pushing. That's all That's all I keep saying to myself. And one day all this will be over. Then I have to say to you, you say all of these things, okay? But you have so many chances to better your situation or try to do something. But you choose not to. You choose just to sit there to see what people going to do for you, okay? Yes, a lot of it is a test, but how many times have you passed the test? How many times have you practiced on trying to pass the test? You fucking never, okay? You want somebody to jump in and take the test for you so I can sit back and enjoy the ride and stick my tongue out and go play bingo while somebody else, okay, take the test for me. Another post, she said, good morning, bookies. Ran out of gas taking kids to school. This can't be real. My life will be back on track soon. Grandma used to say, a closed mouth don't get fed, so don't go judging me. Struggle is real. Here, nothing fake. God knows best. Here she go. Grandmama said, Grandma said a closed mouth never get fed. But before I got in that vehicle and I cranked that hoe up, I would have looked at my gas hand to see if it's enough for me to make it or not. And if I see that it's not enough for me to make it, I wouldn't move the vehicle in order to run out of fucking gas. And I got my kids 
okay? Or I might wind up stranded myself. I'll call DSS and tell them about my situation and what's going on. And maybe there are resources, resources that can actually help you out. Or rather than that, the friend that I come on and I fucking defend, I will call her and say, hey, Keisha girl, I know you just bought a cake for Kaya, but I'm in need right now. You know I got demonetized and I don't have a fucking plan B. So if you could, okay, if you could, the least that you could do, can you send me or help me out with gas money? I'm just saying. Or you know what? Maybe I'll make a phone call to mama. Okay? Mama, look. Okay? I'm in a situation right now and it's kind of bad. Can you help me with gas money just to take the kids to school? It's a lot of help out there, but this is how I play social media. And don't get me wrong, she's not the only one that plays social media in this way. Many of them do it, okay? Many of them do it. Many of them come on social media and play whole social media so social media can do everything for them so I can sit back on my ass and twiddle my fucking fingers and sip my fucking tea and don't have to do nothing. Okay? You lie about your situations like you got it together. Like everything for my kid, I plan and I save. I got it together. This is what you give and say, but you come and post after post. Okay, and not even post after post. Now I'm going to go live over here. And once I go live over here, I'm going to take it to YouTube to let everybody know broadcast my living situation. Do you know how many people that's a single mother, okay, probably in a marriage that is that is going through a struggle right now? And you know what they do? When I present it, I present it with a smile on my face. A smile on my face because I don't need nobody feeling sorry for me. I don't need nobody doing absolutely nothing for me because at some point within my life, I got to stand up. I got to stand up and I got to start doing it for myself. I can't keep... I can't keep going through these same tests over and over and over again. Or if I do hit another test, at least I know how to pass this test this time because the last test that I went through, it prepared me for this one. But I sit back in the cut and I just sit on my ass and twiddle my fingers and come on with the fake yuns because I want everybody to do it. Y'all don't see through that shit? And maybe they'll be accepting of it because I say that I'm switching things up with me posting and showing my kids. Not only that, if I come on and I'm helping Kira with homework, but how the fuck is you helping with her with homework, but you on live talking about what you don't have? As being a grown adult and a parent, I will take it right fucking back to taking accountability, okay? If you didn't do some of the dumb shit that you continue to do over and over again, certain things wouldn't happen. You wouldn't put your, your kids in a bigger strain, okay? I would say bigger strain because your kids is already in a strain. It don't matter if you're getting paid or not. It don't matter if you work four or five jobs. Your, kid is your kids is still going to be in a struggle and a strain because we all know how you do it. Everybody got to come through and be Captain Saver and save the day for you, okay? Then I would say sometimes in life, we go through tests and the test ain't for nobody else. The test is just for us. You understand? It's, it's for us to, to understand it. It's for us to sit down and I would say study. Study how can I change and do better. Study how can I stop hitting this same shit. Study how can the fuck can I stop lying. Lying. How can I stop trying to present myself as, as I'm fucking not. I would say, okay. Going on TikTok, still want to go viral. What do you want to go viral for? You want to go viral, go viral for giving fucking different. Show people, yeah, I can jump out here and get a job. And with jumping out here and getting a job, I can keep my kids' hair combed. Not only that, I can provide for them. Sometimes you got to show the people different in order to receive different. And when you, in order for you to receive different, it might just start turning your situation, turning your situation for better. But how many times? Because then I would say, why are you coming on over here to everybody else? 
You need to be calling Hayward the fuck up because those are his kids. How do you continue to give him a pass and he don't want to do shit? But when people speak on his name, you try to come and try to save the day and keep him safe. Just like Keisha, but homegirl can't come over and give you no gas money. That's friendship. Friendship, I'm going to hold you back no matter what. I'm going to be here to kind of guide you and give you some resources to kind of help you out and make sure that the kids is good and great and going to school and all these things but Keisha just want to come on and provide a cake and show herself but when the shit get deep and fucking real she is nowhere in sight what type of friend is she I mean I already talked about how she did live her and then pushed her out here pushed her out here for fucking embarrassment you call that a friend she said she got it together Okay? She says she go to work if she wants to go to work and get a job. She got a cleaning business. That ain't what she got. She if I ain't got no job. I was looking for a cup. I ain't got a fucking cup. This is what I'm doing. Okay? You know what else I'm doing? I'm taking pics. I'm trying to practice how can I look. Okay? How can I look today to see if they gonna cash at me? Hmm? Okay, but when I was on YouTube and I was monetized, uh, I don't, all this dumb shit got you quiet now. You shaking your, you shaking your cup. But the bad thing about it is she ain't sh shaking her cup for her kids in no type of way. Okay, she's shaking her cup for her fucking self and her mentality. First off, you are already lying. You got family on Facebook. Okay, but I don't normally be on Facebook because of my family. What you running from your family for? Why is these kids not allowed to know their family? Can we talk about that? Can we bring that up? Okay, every time in a situation, y'all, the struggle, the struggle is real. We know the fucking struggle is real. That's why nobody want to sit at that hoe. Nobody want to eat that hoe. Nobody want to be in the midst of it. Nobody want to eat a struggle. Nobody want to lay and go to sleep in a struggle. Nobody want to ride around in a struggle. No one wants to consume a fucking struggle. Nobody. But you do. You do. You continue to call this struggle shit a journey. You continue to put the shit on display as being a journey. But then you say, as much as you got paid from YouTube, how did it change your life around? Okay? How did YouTube help you? Okay? It didn't help you to put furniture in your house. It didn't help you to make sure your kids had beds. It didn't help you to keep their hair cut they haircut it didn't help you to make sure that they had the school clothes and it didn't help you do nothing you know what it did it fed your fucking habit okay it fed your habit it fed your ways it fed your bingo addiction it fed the things that you was hungry and what you was needing that's what it did and left your kids i mean what size i eat for the day Shit, you want to sauce your fucking nuggets and not feed your baby. All that shit come back. All that uh, punching at the wall and, and my kids and yeah, some of it was my fault. All that come back. It all come back. And you can't continue to say grandma said. Closed mouths don't get fed. Okay? It don't mean continue to give the same shit over and over again because you don't want to give better. I should have said, should have Close your legs. You wouldn't have to worry about coming on Facebook trying to dry bed, okay? Pretty sure grandma could have said, close your legs. You don't want to bring all these kids in. And they ain't even being fed properly. Everything is a problem for you. But what you use your kids is for a game. I ran out of gas. My journey and my kids. But we all sit down to watch to know you don't give a fuck about these kids. You don't get your ass up to feed them more. You complain about everything that these kids give and do. You curb, you, you, you complain about how much they drink. Okay, You complain about what they eat. You complain about everything except for the fucking right thing. But you want to run the Facebook... And put up all these different posts. And at the end of the day, oh yeah, okay? Don't forget to sign up for membership. $2.49. 
Bitch, when do you got time to record? Ain't you working a job? Ain't you trying to get another interview for another job? How do you have grown ass women that don't want to work? Don't want better for themselves. But all they want to do is eat the fucking house up. Not take care of the kids. Not look after the kids. I don't want to do it. The best way I can do it is I go viral. Fame. Fame. You chasing fucking fame and you losing right behind it. You ain't catching not a now game. Game is because you chasing fame. You chasing fame and you dragging the struggles right along with you and trying to make it a burden for everybody else to go in their pocket and give you some type of coin. It's embarrassing. It's very embarrassing. Okay, when you run your lip and you talk your shit in the YouTube streets, but look at you now. Okay, and that's the same shit where you say all these people is living behind a glass screen and I don't understand how they can have things to say or judge, but they be scared to put that shit. People don't want to put this shit out. I don't think anybody would want to put it out. Okay, nobody want to be in, on social media in the streets and begging, begging for somebody to make the way for me. And I ain't trying to make the way for my kids. Okay, so it's not about being scared. It's about I don't want to show this. Okay, I'm better than this. Okay, when I land in a struggle or I'm going through a test, sometimes it's it's, it's for me to sit within my quiet so I can figure out how to fuck the past the test. You get me? That's what I mean. Okay, and I ain't finna put my kids out here on display like this. So they can feel sorry and send me a coin or two. I'm just saying. I don't have time to hurry up and come on here and type. And guess what? If I if I ran out of gas to taking my kids to school, how the fuck you gonna pick them up? How the fuck you gonna pick them up? Huh? Let me know. And then whoever send you some money, how you gonna get them to school the next week? Talking about the, the check and you hope you get paid in a week in the hole. How old are you again, okay? You ain't 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. You are fucking 39, about to be 40, and you chose to have all these kids without having a stable foundation. And even though that your foundation is not fucking stable, you ain't did nothing with all these years trying to make that house stable and ready, okay, for you and your children. Working on jobs and going to interviews and all kind of stuff right now. So I'm in the process of doing a lot of job searching and all kind of stuff and going to different interviews and seeing which job is suitable and whatever and whatnot. I got this job that I really ain't gonna uh, wanna do and complete, but you know, I ain't gonna sit up here and rush myself too much, but yeah, I am, I am, currently, I am currently working, but I gotta just, if this, this, if this is the job that I really wanna stay at, I'll stay. But if I don't want to stay, this other place that I talked to today, I got an interview today um, at this place here. So I go to the interview at 420 this afternoon. I'm already ready to go and dress and I put my shoes on. So, you know, most of these jobs that I went and applied to, um, that I'm applying to now currently is just something that I'm just going to do until, you know, everything goes back to where I need to be at. That's how many jobs is you working, but you got time to go live and then say you just can't do the DoorDash and the Uber? You just can't do that. Hmm. You just can't do nothing. You ain't working jobs. Jobs is more than one. Because then that's where I say, nigga, where's your cleaning business? Go clean. I can't believe you because this is the same shit that Naya gave. Naya is working two jobs and she has a nice whip. And y'all know Naya is just a passenger seat rider. They both is in the house doing absolutely nothing. Naya can go get a job, work the daytime. You can go get a job, work the fucking night. Y'all can make it all happen. That's how it work as being a grown woman. It's more easier to jump out there and find something and get something. I would say, okay. It's all, it's, it's about sitting back, trying to come up with the next tactic of receiving a cash app or a handout. Okay. This is what this is all about. 
So I'm gonna come with a post every day, every day about something. My living situation, ain't got gas, it's hard out here, my kids' clothes need to be washed. It speak volumes. So when you say, hey, where is helping? Hey, where do when he can? And I, it's not adding up. So she needs y'all to help her to get her kids' clothes washed, okay? And we done told her a thousand times while she was making her YouTube checks, get a washer, get a dryer. It'll help you out a lot, okay? A whole lot. All we have done was give advice on how your situation could be better. But see, that's like giving you the answer to the test and you don't know how to solve. Now problem your fucking self. It don't do no good. Okay? This is a figure it out situation on your own. This is something that you have to go through on your own. Until you get tired of going through it. Because you ain't tired. Okay? This is just for the moment. Okay, I would say as soon as YouTube allow her to appeal or however, she'll just jump back and be doing the same shit because she don't learn because ain't nothing never her fault or mistake or none of it. It's everybody else's. So with those type of people, it's a recurring cycle. It'll never change. Okay. So that's all that I have to say on this day about Shanika Grant. Girl, go post on Facebook. Keep putting your post up. But this... Shouldn't be the life that you want to live and give. I'm just saying, okay? People talk. People get tired of seeing it. Here she go again. It's the same shit because we all know. Job? She don't want a job. She want viral, okay? She want to go viral. Go viral and still catch no fucking guy in at the end. Makes no sense. Anyways, y'all, that's it. That's all for this reaction video. If y'all like this reaction video, let's throw those thumbs up. And if you have not, I ask that you do do. Do 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 subscribe. Okay, y'all already know anything that it's a lot I give over here. Ain't nothing never forced. But what I do ask for y'all to do is drop y'all comments down below. Okay, what do y'all think about <laughs> this situ? What do y'all think? She's running to Facebook. I don't post on Facebook, but I know I can get a membership. I can gain some type of coin. I'm making posts out here on Facebook because I need somebody to send me something. Okay, next she's going to be saying the kids don't have no food. She is looking for ways to gain money quick. Then you say, who is the best people to get it from? Your dumb ass book is right. They'll support you. They'll support you. And not knowing we're trying to support you and you ain't trying to support yourself with your children. It'll never change. It'll never get better. It'll never until she understand it within her fucking mental of what needs to be taken place and done by her herself and nobody else that's what i would say on this day anyways y'all see y'all on the next fraction video peace